okay, everybody. I, I need your help right now. That's right. The mad white Jamaica needs your help. I need you to check out this guy's page. I will be leaving a link to the page I want you to check out. This gentleman here, his Pregnant. name is Mr. Pregnant. His, on Mr. Pregnant's last video, he was talking about um, rap music being garbage and dancehall music being being garbage and how the government needs to find a way to get rid of dancehall music. Look, Mr. Pregnant, let me give you a, let me give you a, 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 a quick history lesson. This is a quick history, history lesson. Reggae music was made to educate those who could not read. Bob Marley himself said that, right? Reggae music was made to educate them. These people could not read. They could not read because they were left uneducated for a reason. You have rich man who live up in Jacksonville right now that like the maids, they like the gardeners, right? So you're left uneducated for a reason. Unfortunately, unfortunately, here are some people from the ghetto that make it out the ghetto that you want to you put them back down there. Bridget, let me tell you something. In terms of their fascination with guns and all these things, this is not this is not a yesterday thing, you know. Them fascination with guns and a yesterday thing. Billy the Kid, Bonnie and Clyde, Babyface Capone. Do these names ring a bell to you? It rings a big bell to me. Ding dong, ding dong, ding a ling a ling. School bell are ringing on my head right now, you know. School bell are ring up there. We have been glorifying violence since day one. Since day one, right? I'm going to go to Toys R Us right now and see if I can find an action figure of a guy in a business suit and a briefcase. A Donald Trump action figure. Ah, uh, look at me. I'm Donald Trump. Look at the amount of businesses I am going to open. I'm going to open all these businesses and I'm going to be extremely intelligent. Ah! <laughs> oh! Wow! It is a me! It is a me! I'm an action figure! I'm an action figure! Look at me! And my nunchucks! Look at my nunchucks! Pa, 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 pa. Nunchucks are a lot cooler than, than a man shaba. in a briefcase. Shaba, 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 shaba. Yo, you want to see something? <laughs> is this pornographic? Whoa. <laughs> the people that couldn't read newspapers. To educate the people that couldn't afford radios. Right? To, to, to at least educate the people that weren't brainwashed by modern day society. That's why reggae music was formed. And I know you like reggae music. But now, let's, let's, let's fast forward this. Let's fast forward this to modern day. To modern times. The times that we are living in right now. Okay? And we, listen, we don't listen to reggae. We still listen to reggae hardcore. Hardcore listen to reggae. Reggae is in our blood. Reggae is our roots. We listen to dancehall music now. Right? Dancehall is there to educate the poor. Dancehall is there to f for knowledge. Right? And I know right now you're probably sitting down laughing. Ha 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 ha. Then why are they talking about burning Batman and glorifying God and this and that? If you just look at that part of dancehall music, you are missing the whole point completely. You are missing the point completely and I'm sorry. But at the same time I'm not because maybe you're the modern day slave master that's trying to drive the slaves and they're still deceiving you. Right? We have, we have woven our way into today's society to the point where you can't get rid of us. I have been fortunate in my lifetime to walk the streets of downtown Kingston. I have walked the streets of downtown Kingston. I have. Because I went to school at St. George's College right there on North Street. And my, and my grandmother used to have an office in downtown Kingston. And after school, sometimes I'd walk. Right? And I saw poverty. I saw poverty that people can't imagine. You see that stuff you see on Food for Kids? I've seen that. You see this kid in the streets of Kingston in the 80s. And him I listen to Bujubantan. And the man get on stage and him start DJ. You know? What do you expect? Now if these same kids that grew up on rap, these same kids that grew up trying to be the next 50 Cent, trying to be the next Tupac, trying to be the next Eminem, these same kids guaranteed, 
guaranteed if they grew up in Beverly Hills with a rich daddy and a grand piano these same kids would not be considered society, societal parasites as you said Mr. Pregnant these same kids would be called savants and I say this because a lot of my friends are rap and hip hop artists they wouldn't resort to violence they wouldn't resort to drugs they wouldn't resort to guns. I can almost guarantee you that these kids would be the most business oriented people. Because I'm fortunate to know people that are doing these things that you're talking about is a bad thing. And I'm not going to I, I'm not gonna say that they're a good thing. In closing, Mr. Pregnant. I know you're not gonna blog this video. I know you're not going to give this video any credit. Is it is it right to make celebrities out of people that sing about guns? That people sing about killing a certain individual? Is it right? No, it's not right. But it's what's selling. Okay, this is this is what's selling. People people like the whole idea of a gun. Right? Deep down inside, I am black. As you can tell, this is this is a very sensitive and delicate topic of mine, Mr. Pregnant. And if you made that video about rap music to provoke a response from me, my friend, you got it. You got your response. Can you see the world? Can you tell that I wanna help myself? But if it happened that I stick you for your ring, don't be mad at me. It's a survival thing. Look into my heart, I can feel your fear. Take another look. Can you hold my stare? Why are you afraid of my younger face? Or is it this thing bulging in my